this weekend i did something very very uncomfortable hi hello namaskar my name is ravina kate and welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications about all my upcoming videos and so you won't be missing any of my videos let's get into the real talk on this video i talk about a lot of life experiences that i gain uh, from doing just a lot of different things and listening to people mentors my family and friends and uh, the media that i consume i pick up something that maybe pops up in my head and make this content so i hope you guys like this video if you do please hit the like button comment below and share this video this weekend i did something very very uncomfortable as you can see i have the shortest haircut um, last time i had shortest haircut was when i was in fifth grade when I was little, I grew up almost like a boy, then a girl. So all my values were very clear to me and it never felt this uncomfortable in my own skin. Uh, even to make this video, it has taken me three hours. Three hours to make this video because uh, it took me so long to be the confident person that I am and realize that my external beauty doesn't have to relate to um, who I am as a person and what are the things that I value the most. Um, so this weekend I decided to go to a salon and get the shortest haircut ever. Um, as you guys know that in South Asian beauty ideals, short haircut is not the, not the greatest thing. It's not looked as one of the most beautiful people, especially with short hair. So I decided to take a very uncomfortable step at this age um, and I went through this experience and has learned so much about me and about how much you think about people and their judgments and shame and guilt and how confident you are when you are in your comfort zone. Um, so on friday i went to the salon no i took an appointment on friday and um, i took five options with me on saturday and four of the options were haircuts until here and that was the shortest haircut i've had for 10 years now um, but this haircut that i have i've had this for half of my life and it was very comfortable confident and when I got this haircut at the salon, I sat in the chair, I asked the lady, I said, do you think this suits me? I wanted to, I think I'm going to take a risk. Um, does this suit my face shape? And I opened my mask a little bit. She saw my face and then, and then she was able to decide if it suits me or not. So she had experience of 10 years. So I was like, okay, I'm going to trust you and let you do but after all it's going to be on me whether i want to take this risk or not um, so i went ahead and she started cutting from here and i went is this the right decision i'm taking a um, lot of anxiety a lot of discomfort i'm paying for feeling uncomfortable um, i came out of the salon came home i looked in the mirror and I felt ugly. I felt really ugly. I, then I thought, okay, I might have to just get used to it. Um, then I thought to myself, what are people going to think when they see me like this? Um, then I thought, um, am I going to get trolled for this? Then I thought, so I make dance videos. Is this going to be something I should... I would be able to do on the video and then suddenly I was like maybe this is the experience I can talk about it to my YouTube viewers and this may benefit um, other people and I regret it and I love the decision I took because I learned so much that I might not be able to learn uh, from actually actively doing this um, and the things I learned is that you internalize so much 
from the society, from the social media, um, web series, the whole media feeds you a lot of things. Even your society where you grew up, gr grow up, and it's really hard to categorize those two things and know who you are and how people see you and the influences that people have on you. And even while making this video, I have fixed my hair probably. I, I don't even want to count it because it took me so long to get to a realization that the values that I have and the person I am is more important than the way I look. Um, I looked in the mirror to see what kind of clothes I will wear that might make it more make me look more beautiful. Um, it's crazy and strange that what I have learned from people unconsciously is to feel ugly in short hair. Or I came came up with all these stereotypes that I've heard about short hair. Um, I thought I looked like a boy. I put on makeup and bold lipstick to just see if it makes any difference and maybe I'll look better than how I look in the short hair. So with this experience, I can go on and on and on. Before this, I have read research that related to influences and internalized beauty ideals um, and it never felt this real until I myself took a step out of my comfort zone and thoughtfully decided to go and do this. And this weekend for two days, I was hiding from every single person that I knew. I tried to make dance videos and I didn't feel like myself. I felt like my confidence was lost. Um, and then while making this video, I have tried my best to be the most confident person that I can be. And so yeah, let me know what kind of very uncomfortable experience you have. This might not suit my face or it maybe does, but hair, they're gonna grow again and it's not gonna be a big deal. I hope so. So yeah, this was my experience and I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please, please comment below and let me know your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video next week. To the goodbye. Have a good one. Love you all. Bye-bye.